what is up y'all so today we're going to talk about john jones versus serial gun or as john jones likes to say serial gain <laughs> so i think this is a really really interesting matchup and i'm actually really excited to see what these two gentlemen have in store for us um i think they said that they're they're, they're set for march and i think the way this whole situation played out is is crazy i mean Francis Ngannou, let's start there, right? Let's start there. Francis Ngannou vacating his title, which me personally, people, I think that's a big statement. I think that's a big loss for the UFC. I think it's probably one of the bigger losses uh, that the UFC has experienced in, in some time. You know, your heavyweight champion of the world just said, peace, I'm going somewhere else. And then I hear that rumors of of Jake Paul offering him a two fight deal in the PFL, which is crazy. I really think we're starting to see some things shift in the MMA community from one championship to PFL to UFC. They're all kind of changing positions right now and it's very it's a very interesting dynamic in MMA. So if I had to choose the winner to this fight, I'm gonna go with John Jones. Now here's why, and I think it's a very interesting look because in my opinion, I feel that it really depends on what John Jones we get, what version of John you know, we may get. And what's even more interesting is with all the fights that we've seen of John, we may see a different John than we've ever seen before. And that's not counting him being a heavyweight because obviously we've never seen him at the heavyweight division and I'm not talking about that I'm saying stylistically here right because he's going against a bigger man he's going against a a bigger man who's a phenomenal striker now this is where I give John the edge this is why I think John is going to win because in my opinion I think what makes John most dangerous is not his ability to strike but his ability to mix his striking with clinching with grappling because he's really good at all three and so I see John putting on pressure, not really allowing uh, Cyril to really get anything off. I think he's going to try to keep him on his back foot a lot against the cage. He's going to try to hit him with a lot of double takedowns and just control him from a clinch to wrestle position. I really think if I were John's coach, that would be the way that I would direct him to win the fight. And I think that is John's best way to win the fight is like I said through clinching and grappling now I thought Francis was a more dangerous opponent because we've never seen John go up against a guy who's almost specifically centered around taking your head off now I'm not saying that Gon can't do that because he definitely can and it's it's interesting because Francis was so crazy of a knockout artist that anybody that would go against him including Gon, weren't, they, they weren't thought of to be knockout artists on the same level as Francis. You know, when, when Francis was fighting, Francis was a knockout artist and the other guy had to figure out another way to get it done. And so when it comes to this fight in particular, John still has to, he still has to watch his chin. He still has to watch his chin for one. Again, we're, we're talking about a different weight class, people, a different power. And can John carry any power over to the heavyweight division and as i said before in the last video when i did a john versus stipe because i thought they were gonna fight it it came down to can john carry over any power as a heavyweight and he wasn't known to be a heavyweight uh, puncher he wasn't known to be a knockout artist he would grind people out whether it be striking or, or, or grappling, he's more of a grinder rather than a knockout artist. He's probably not going to flatline Cyril Gaon. But the likelihood of Cyril Gaon knocking out John is there. It's, it's, it's there. And he's a very dangerous striker. And so that's why I see John winning this fight by just not allowing Cyril to really do anything. He's going he's gonna, to he's gonna suffocate him. And I think Francis was more dangerous because 
it only t it only it really only took one shot now can Gon do that sure but i don't think the i don't think the the scare factor is there you know it's not as frightening in a sense of i might get touched touched one time and i might i might be seeing god <laughs> and i think what also plays a factor is that john hasn't fought in what three years three years up that, that now that does play a factor i think um but will it play a huge factor for john i don't know especially being the fact that cyril gone he fought what last year and so um and he's coming off a win against tai tuavasa i think we're gonna see john uh dominate for the most part i'm telling you i think we're gonna see him dominate for the most part um probably until about round late late three or early four and uh, i think john's gonna be you know the the next heavyweight champion of the world and so um it's gonna be an interesting fight it really is um i have a couple of more predictions coming up for you guys now that Usman and edwards was announced and a couple of other fights and so we're gonna keep this thing going but for this one john jones peace